perfect. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Hi, Jen. Hi. It's so dark you're, in my office right now. <laughs> no, you, you look like you're well lit. That's good. That's good. It's a, it's a filter. Um, yeah. I love the Zoom filters. They're very friendly. I don't look like I had a six-week-old and I'm tired. <laughs> right. How, how is the sleeping situation going? She's so awake. She's like the most awake baby really? ever. She sleeps during the night, which is good. But yeah, like, she's uh, like awake. I know. He's, a, he's not the best during the day either. But at night, he's amazing. Yeah, same with Jackie. Anyway, yes. hi. hi. Hi, everyone. Everyone, this, this, is, so this is yeah. This is Jen Lilly. Let me just put everybody on on gallery view so you can see everybody. Perfect. I was gonna say, what is like? How often do you do this? Well, so I have a, a few different memberships, like Facebook and YouTube, and then my Patreon. And this is just kind of a new thing we're doing, where I'm bringing all the memberships, like folks, together, and and then uh, is for like a Q and A kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Austin wanted to be a part of this one and then there, there's featured members every week that I do like a private one-on-one -on -one video with uh, at the very beginning with the winners that's so uh, fun yeah you're like a mini Christmas is not canceled a mini oh, right, right, right. Yeah. right 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 and that's what everybody Jen is has started uh Christmas is not canceled and do you want to just tell them a tiny bit about that and then what's coming up because I want everyone to hear um yeah are you ready is it time for his bath okay Say goodbye, Austin. Say Bye, good Austin. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, buddy. Oh Bye. my God, he's so cute. Okay. Whoa. Awesome. Oh, good timing. So, yeah. yeah okay. you want to, so, I wanted Jen to come on just to share a little bit because we're obviously, some of you know uh, that Jen's done the Christmas is not canceled thing. And I just want you to share a little bit more about just, and, and then so everybody can come and check it out. Yeah. So, I'll try to be super brief. So, basically, as a backdrop, it's not my strength. Probably not your strength either as an actor, Paul, right? Like we're storytellers, it's bad. It, it, so, it's true. It's true. <laughs> so you guys know, like everything in the world got canceled in 2020. And so um, my now business partner, but my good friend Alejandra and I, um, we were just really worried like about parents, you know, not having Christmas for their children and all of this. So we decided that we would like go on a mission to save Christmas from being canceled. And we did this Toys for Tots fundraiser and it ended up being super successful and all of our customers had so much fun and the brands had fun, the celebrities that were involved had fun. And so we formed an official company. So what we do is we host Christmas related fundraisers twice a year. So we have Christmas in July and it raises backpacks filled with quality school supplies for children in foster care. Um, foster care is like near and dear to my heart. I'm a foster and adoptive mom myself. So two of my four kids are adopted from foster care. Um, and people, oh, I hope I don't cry. Kids in foster care, most of them, um, a little over 50% never even graduate high school. So, and they, they just fall behind in school and then they age out and they, the statistics for foster care are super bleak. Like of words of 80% of our human trafficking victims, 70% um, of our incarcerated, and 50% of our homeless population all came from foster care. And a lot of that stems from having bad education. And it's not because they're dumb kids or they're not, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with the children. It's just that they bounce home to home to home, school to school to school. And I always tell people, like, I don't know if you ever changed schools, Paul, but when I was in third grade to fourth grade, I switched schools from private to public. And so I never learned my state capitals because my private school taught that in fourth grade and my public school taught that in third grade. So my mom's still super ashamed of me. I don't know my state capitals, but imagine <laughs> like tough, tough, test me. I don't know. Um, but so imagine like a kid who's changed schools like five, 10 times. So we thought um, for the summer, we would give them quality school supplies to let them know that there's a whole community of people that believes that they're not a statistic. And also, so they start their school year off like looking like all the other kids because kids in foster care, they don't get the school supplies and stuff that they need. So that's what we do in July. And the way we do it is we host these really fun Zoom virtual camps where you can hang out with awesome celebrities like Paul Green and some other hobbies like Trevor Donovan and Andrew Walker and Wes Brown and Christopher Russell, Candace Cameron Bure, Lacey Chabert. Like there's a whole bunch of us that are involved and we do weekly Zooms like this. 
and it benefits child health. And we do, we hang out and have fun and we play games. And then also, oh, there's like a sweepstakes involved. Like this year we're sending somebody to the Bahamas. We do all these weekly prize drawings and, and how it works is like every single thing you buy on the website gives you entries into this huge giveaway and it benefits charity. And then we also have pure bundle, like donation bundles that hit the site on July 1st. So we give like, you can just say, I just want to give a backpack of school supplies to a child in need, or I want to give a child entering foster care a new pair of pajamas because most of them never get new pajamas or a blanket. That all launches July 1st on christmasisnotcanceled.com. Paul is going to be serenading people and having fun with us playing games on July 5th as one of our weekly um, camp nights with a bunch of other guys. And then in the fall, we do Toys for Tots. So it's just a fun, it's like a super <laughs> funny thing that we kind of stumbled upon where celebrities and brands and fans can kind of join this whole community and have fun and give back at the same time and win really cool prizes. So that's what it is. Mm, I love that. Okay, awesome. Because yeah. I know there were some people that were like, what is it? What is it actually? And so I, I was talking to Ruth and I was like, why don't we have Jen just come on? I don't even know them. if I explained it well, though. Do you guys? Okay, I'm going to put gallery. No, you, Do you feel like I explained it pretty well? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, you you explained it. What's the biggest surprise that came out of all this for you? Like, what's the biggest, you know, I, from when you started it to where you are now? Like, what's the biggest, like, surprise that came? Oh, I think just the impact it had on people. Um because it didn't just impact the kids. I'm going to cry. <laughs> it didn't just impact the kids and the families that we were helping. And that's been incredible because I think, I think most people, myself included, believe, wrongly believe that if they want to change the world for better, then they have to do something like huge. But so many times it's like something small, right? Like we don't know if we're taking the straw off someone's back that was like about to break it. You know, right. and so it's just, a, it's a campaign of like spreading kindness and love and joy. But mm -hmm. what was amazing is getting the feedback from all of our participants, like all of our customers and fans, especially during the pandemic that felt so isolated and so depressed and so overwhelmed and feeling like they couldn't do anything to kind of make a difference and, mm -hmm. and just seeing the friendships and stuff that it formed. So that's been probably the most rewarding to me. It's just, I don't know. It's like, you just we didn't intend to create this community, but we've created this community. And it's like, I know like hundreds, if not thousands of my fans by name now. <laughs> and like, I know where they live and I know what they do for work because we hang out so much over Zoom, probably like you yeah. and all of these special people, you know, it's like wild. You just, I don't know. It's awesome. Mm, it is a lot of work, isn't it though? Like to like navigate, <sighs> to put together all the bundles and to send, and you'd send a lot of really cool things to so many different people. Um, it's an insane amount of work. Yeah. 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 And just, just, I just want to acknowledge you for like having two foster kids. Like, did you adopt them as like really small and really young? No, um, we got both the boys at four months and their biological half brothers, um, same mom. She also came from foster care. That's the cycle of foster care. Wow. Um, it's, it's a cycle of abuse that like, because as probably everyone knows, if you know anything about foster care, you know, that most foster homes, maybe not most, I'd say at least half are not like my home. You know, they're kind of really crappy places with crappy people. Like you're either a really amazing foster parent or you're a really crappy person. <laughs> There's kind of no in between. So um, yeah, we, we got them at four months and then, um, then they were eligible for adoption, which was amazing after about three years. So it's a long process, but yeah. And how old are they now? So Caden is six and Jeffrey is four. Oh, wow. I, I don't know if I am, would, uh, am that unselfish to like risk taking on. Cause like, you know, when you have your own child, right. And I'm just being totally honest here. I've thought about yeah. this and I've thought about this many times yeah. and, and, you know, having time for yourself or, or, or reading a book or exercising or, yeah. or, or eating, you know, <laughs> or eating, right. Or, eating, or, sitting down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or romantic time with your partner or going to see Elvis in the theater, right? And then I think about, you know, my own children that are biological. I was like, okay, I can I can give up quite a bit for that. But then I was like, what if I adopted or, or fostered kids and they were ungrateful? What if they were ungrateful? What if they were like total disasters and totally like, 
uh, misbehaved. And I was like, I don't know if I'm that unselfish. <laughs> I think that you would be through training first, like, and you, and you don't, you don't see the kids as different than your biological. Okay. Like yeah. you just don't like, it's so when I got pregnant with Julie, so for everybody, so my, my boys are adopted six and four, and then my daughters are two and six weeks old. And when I got pregnant with Julie, my two-year-old, I, people would ask me that, like, aren't you worried? And part of me was worried. Like, am I going to feel different about her? But I don't like, not at all. I don't feel different at all. And also then when you do foster care training, you learn that like when children act X, you know, like this, that's because they're acting from a place of hurt and, but you know, you get mad at your own kids. I mean, I don't care whether they're adopted or biological kids like are the reason you live. And there's also the reason that they they make you crazy. And they also are the reason that you work so hard. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. For sure. They're like angels and monsters and sometimes in the same minute. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me, but. <laughs> no, no, it's true. And it's also another chance to nurture your inner child, which is a really special gift yeah. too, right? Yeah, totally. Um, well, I'm really glad you're doing this and. and um, I'm glad you're doing it. I'm happy to. Yeah, of course. And I'll, you know, I'll keep sharing and we'll get as many people to this event as we can. And, and let's, let's raise a lot of money and make a difference. That's, that's, that, that excites me. That makes me happy. It's awesome. It yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by and just where can people, uh, what's the easiest way for people to do the, the most impact? Okay. <laughs> they just go to Christmas is not canceled com. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, Ruth, then, just put it, Ruth just put it in the chat. Perfect. And then perfect. I have a code, That's, I have a code, right? PG 22 or something or PG. Paul, you have a code. I believe it's Paul. I think I just saw me. Camp. Wait, let me look it up really quick. I have it. <laughs> it's in my text from you. I can't it. Okay. Paul 22 camp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to put this in the chat. This is $10 off. Dope. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming on and we'll see you really soon. We'll see you for sure. July uh, 5th. (laughs) And, and if you want to do like a little Instagram live with any of us, like as, as we're getting closer to it, let's do that too. Yeah, we should. Okay. We remind remind me because trust me. Like ridiculous how much I like so much work. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.